First look at the official build of Pixel experience based on Android 12 running on the Xiaomi Mi 11X, the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40. Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at the official build of Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 12 running on the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. The security patch as you can see is from January 2022. The kernel they are using is from Lineage OS, SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box. Now since this is Pixel Experience, you do get Pixel Launcher out of the box and here it is. You can share your links from your recents and you can also copy, share, save your images from the recents as well. Next up, select BAM working without any issues. Screenshot also works without any issues. We can also head over to the settings and try to take a screenshot manually and there it is. You can see that we are getting the capture more option. Once you tap on that, you can select the area which you want to capture using the nubs and the magnification lens effect of Android 12 is also working without any issues. Next up, let us have a look at the power menu. So this here is how the power menu is going to look like and this is how your quick settings panel is going to look like do note dark theme is not activated right now here are the different tiles which are available to you in case you want to add more tiles here are the other options for the tiles which you have so unfortunately you do not have the separate wi-fi and mobile data toggle tiles then as you can see my at a glance is working without any issues as well we can go into home settings and here it is these are your at a glance settings and you also have the option of searching on your phone so let us open the application drawer and here in let us search for settings so bam you can see that system wide search is working and of course if you open the application drawer tap on the three dot menu go into preferences you can customize what all content you want to see in the system wide search then we can head back into the widgets section and here and of course once you update all your applications from the play store you are going to get the new clock widget if you go into the google option you will have the new weather widgets as well along with the new photo widgets then we can head over to wallpapers and style so this here is your material you you can of course change your application grid then you can apply the themed icons. You can also enable or disable your dark theme. You can choose your wallpaper accent color or you can choose the basic colors. If you're going to change wallpaper, you do have the Pixel 6 exclusive Bloom wallpapers. You can download the live versions as well. Let us go ahead and apply this wallpaper and then we can see if Material U is working or not. So as you can see, we do have the themed green Material U colors. This is how the power menu looks. The volume panel, of course, has also adapted to the new material you colors and the same applies for your quick setting tiles as well then we can go ahead and enable the dark theme to see how the ui looks like with dark theme so bam here it is this is how the ui is going to look with dark theme enabled do note that the theme color here is pitch black it is not grayish shade which i think a lot of you are going to appreciate next up we can head over to the settings page so this is how the settings page is going to look like nothing much to talk about in network and internet and connected devices let us go into apps chrome then we can go into permissions and we can go into location so you do have your toggle for enabling or disabling the precise location next up you also have the option to remove the permissions if the app is not used for some time and once that is done the application is going to show up in this unused apps section you can of course change your default apps as well yes game dashboard is there it is enabled out of the box once you enable those toggles open any game you have an arrow tap on the arrow tap on the controller and that should take us to our game dashboard now here and you can enable your screenshot screen recorder and the fps meter of course this floating bar you can move it around and it snaps to the edges as well youtube live streaming works without any issues optimization needs to be enabled by the game developer within the game you cannot enable it explicitly for any game which you 
want to then jumping over to notifications you do have your power app notification along with notification history priority conversations and bubbles do note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now then you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now then we can head over to battery so here in you of course have your battery usage and as you can see the idle battery drain is like pretty good overnight i think it is like 0 0.5 or 1 percent then you have your battery saver you do have the pixel exclusive extreme battery saver wherein you can schedule these battery savers and you can also reduce the refresh rate to save your battery and you also have a toggle to enable turning off battery saver once your phone is charged to 90% adaptive battery is there along with toggles to turn on the LED light when the battery is charging and showing your battery percentage in the status bar Next up we have sound and vibration. So here you of course have your sliders for the different volume levels. Then you can set a different ringtone for different sims. Live caption is there along with adaptive sound and you have media player customization as well for your quick settings. Then you can configure your shortcut to prevent ringing and you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now. Then we can jump over to display. So here you can of course configure your brightness level adaptive brightness is there works without any issues go into lock screen here and you can of course add a text to the lock screen go into ambient display and you can enable or disable your always on display and if you are not using always on display then you can enable the pickup for notifications to show up then you can configure your screen timeout the toggle which is missing over here is for screen attention dark theme is present you can schedule it based on a custom time or from sunset to sunrise then you can change the font size the display size and similarly you also have night light customization wherein you can configure it from sunset to sunrise or from a custom time and then you can control the intensity as well go into colors you have natural boosted saturated and adaptive and all these options are working fine without any issues then you have a toggle for auto rotate screen along with face based auto auto detection then for your refresh rate you have three different options 60 90 and 120 and all of these options are working fine of course you also have double tap to wake bam here it is double tap to wake in the building working without any issues next up we have security so unfortunately no face unlock for now but you do have fingerprint unlock now with fingerprint unlock the only thing i have noticed is that the animation when aod is not enabled is not pretty good with aod enabled the fingerprint unlock animation is pretty good and you only have touch to unlock you do not have press to unlock next up we have privacy so here in you of course have your camera access and microphone access toggles to enable or disable system wide camera access and microphone access do note you also have quick setting tiles for these options then you also have your privacy dashboard so here in you can see what all applications have accessed what all sensors and you also have toggle for enabling or disabling your clipboard access so here it is this is the toggle to show clipboard access and similarly you can disable this as well next up we can jump over to system so in system of course you have your live translate now unfortunately live translate does not work in youtube with live caption that i think is a known issue with pixel experience you have your tap tap on the back and this works absolutely fine then you have quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice go into system navigation you can choose from three different navigation options and your customization for gesture settings include swipe to invoke assistant and configuring the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge independently one-handed mode is there and it works without any issues then you can also press and hold the power button to invoke the assistant once you do that to turn off your device you will have to access your quick settings panel and other than that in your gestures the last option is to prevent ringing so herein you can you know press power and volume up together to put the phone into mute or into vibrate mode then the last option in system is for rules so let us say you want to set a rule that i'm leaving my house i want to turn the wi-fi off and bluetooth on that is something which you can configure in rules
Next up, let us head over to the Google Play Store and here we can go into the Play Store settings, go into about there it is, you can see that device is certified. This means that banking apps are going to work without any issues. Now with respect to your YouTube media playback, everything works absolutely fine. Live caption works, picture in picture works and for picture in picture either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium now unfortunately as i mentioned earlier that live translate is not working with youtube and that i think is a known issue then if you head over to your google photos you will notice that you are getting original quality unlimited from this specific rom and let us also go ahead and try to edit a picture of my favorite football star wait for the loading bar to finish go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light feature is there and it works without any issues magic eraser is not there and another thing to note over here is that the portrait light feature is going to work only on human objects it is not going to work on my second friend over here now with respect to the assistant lady yes she is there and she works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well Next up with respect to the pixel exclusive features. Now your interpreter mode works without any issues and interpreter mode is wherein you can use Google Assistant to communicate with somebody who doesn't know your language. Then let us also go ahead and open the recorder application, try to record something to see if the transcript mode is working and as you can see it is ready to transcribe but it does not seem to be working. Let us pause and resume this to see if it works. So no your transcript mode is also not working in the recorder application. The other thing which is not working with respect to Pixel 6 features is of course your live translate in YouTube and in the messaging application when you try to voice type you get the old one you do not get the pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro exclusive assistant voice typing so those features all of those are missing from pixel experience next up let us have a look at the app opening animations to see if you have any lags or any jitters in the ui with respect to the app opening animations and as you can see nothing like that recents are pretty smooth as well let us also try to switch between a few applications and switching is pretty dope pretty fast let us access our google feed and as you can see no lags no jitters in the google feed once the content has cached everything is pretty dope and pretty smooth so what is the final take on pixel experience for for the Poco F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40, well, unfortunately, the experience which you are getting is from the Pixel 5. You're not getting the Pixel 6 Pixel experience. And as I mentioned earlier, there are a few things which need to be fixed, specifically the unlock animation when AOD is turned off and you're using your fingerprint. And there it is, peeps. That was our first look at the official build of Pixel experience based on Android 12 running on the Poco F3, the Mi 11x or the redmi k40 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you